In the early 80s, milk lakes and butter mountains had begun to form in Europe. Whatever amount of milk farmers produced, the EU would guarantee to buy it at a certain price. But demand lagged behind. To curb overproduction and eliminate massive surpluses, dairy quotas were introduced in 1984. Since the 1990s, a series of reforms to the common agricultural policy have led to a more market-oriented sector, with modernization and investment grants available and farm businesses more able to respond to market signals. Now, dairy quotas are being abolished in the EU. This comes at a time when demand for dairy products, especially cheese, is forecast to rise significantly in the coming years, particularly in Asia. EU producers should be given the chance to benefit from such a trend and allowed to increase their production. This is an enormous opportunity for EU growth and job creation. Of course, there are concerns in some quarters about this change, but the CAP now has a range of other instruments to address these, such as additional payments for disadvantaged areas. For more information, visit the Europa website or click on the links below.